It's time for Quick Takes. Let's get into it. Up first, Paul George and Jimmy Kimmel had a little discussion about playing for the Lakers. Stephen A., is it time for PG-13 to stop talking about the Lake Show? I think he needs to because it's not like he has the right to just depart for the Los Angeles Lakers. There's assistance that's required from the Indiana Pacers. And the more you turn them off, the more they're of an impediment they could be to what you ultimately wish will happen. So he needs to be careful about that. Former Pats running back LeGarrette Blunt will join the Eagles on a one-year deal. Max, what does this mean for Philly? Uh, I think Blunt's a good player, Molly. I mean, I was hoping the Giants would get him. He had a heavy yeah. workload and really produced for the Patriots. But you know what? The marketplace tells you what's what. One year, $2.8 million, and the Pats didn't try to retain him. So it says that he was good for the Patriots and that he's a nice player. That's what it says. Eagles are looking good on paper. Peyton Manning will host the ESPYs in July. Stephen A., you're an actor. How do you think he'll do? I think he's going to be absolutely fabulous. I got to tell y'all. I do, too. Listen, Peyton Manning, I know you see Peyton Manning in these commercials. All I harken back to is when I watched him host Saturday Night Live years ago. He was so hysterical. I, I, I mean, I, I love this choice to host the ESPYs. I think he's going to do a great job. I do, too. I'm excited to see it. Warriors interim coach Mike Brown was late for game two after being pulled over by police for not letting the Spurs bus pass by him on the way to Oracle. Max, this is real. Oh, that's so Mike Brown. <laughs> Poor Mike Brown, the much maligned Mike Brown. He's such a nice guy, and he's at home, and he's holding up the visiting bus and gets pulled over by the cops. <laughs>